there, Catherine here from greenthickies.com and today I am going to be sharing a new approach to battling candida. Now quite recently I suspected that I had an overgrowth of candida. Um, I was having various symptoms like um, all on and off throughout my life I've probably had an overgrowth growth of candida apart from I think maybe two occasions in my life where I've had um, slight fungal toenails um, I would, lately I was getting yeast infections and my sugar cravings were completely crazy and I was thinking what is wrong with me, started googling it and all the signs pointed to an overgrowth of candida so I thought okay I will go on a new diet <laughs> I'll go on an anti-candida diet. So I started this, this diet, which um, if you've ever been on this kind of diet, you will know that you cut out sugar, you cut out um, fruit, most fruits, you um, mainly eat uh, like animal products like meat and eggs and vegetables, and you, that's just the diet that you stick to for a long time, could be months, could be like you know, six weeks, eight weeks, months, half a year, whatever, and then you also start taking supplements as well. And so I started this, I started this diet and I was starting to take um, two, two products that I think they made me quite ill actually. Um, they are, and this is quite common advice for people who are going on an anti-candida diet, is they, they take different supplements and these supplements that were recommended were uh, diatomaceous earth and um, bentonite clay and the advice is to to mix them together into a glass of water and I started to do that and within about uh, maybe about four days of doing this I started to not feel very well at all and I was getting I had a pain in my in my chest uh, in my heart and my arms were going numb all the way down my arms um, and I was lying there one evening and thinking I feel like I'm having a heart attack I just felt like I was I don't know I just I googled am I having a heart attack and <laughs> it said that you should get yourself to the hospital and um, and I thought about it I thought oh no I really I just don't want to sit in that hospital all night and um, and maybe I would have rather died than go to the hospital, who knows, that's certainly not the advice I would give to anybody else of course, if it was somebody else I would have taken them but for me I don't know why I didn't go, I just told myself over and over, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. <laughs> I went to bed and didn't sleep very well but I woke up in the morning and did feel a little bit better and it started to ease off so I thought thank goodness and then I, I started to read about these products and probably should have done that before but you read all the good stuff first, you start it and then it doesn't agree with you, then you read all the bad stuff and it was saying that really we should not be consuming these products at all, they're not fit for a human consumption, that there hasn't really been any scientific research done, there hasn't really been any any benefits, people haven't really noticed any benefits, that they're good to use on the outside of your skin, like on your teeth, they're really good for cleaning teeth, but not for on the inside of your body. So. I stopped that and I started to, the, these symptoms started, st started to go away and they went away, thank goodness, um, because they were really not agreeing with me at all. So I went researching and I came across somebody that I, um, some, um, somebody that I used to really, really uh, love and take advice from. I really believed in him and he is called An Anthony William and his uh, website is the um, medicalmedium.com and I'll link to everything that I'm sharing with you here in the blog post um, based on this uh, video and um, he, I used to, I uh, discovered him maybe two years ago and I had, I had already followed a lot of his advice before I had even heard of him um, and it had worked for me so as soon as I heard him talking about what he talks about which is a high fruit diet. He was somebody that I believed in and it just seems to make sense what he says and I'm not the only one, he's very very popular um, so I'll go and check him out because I really do believe, especially if, you're, if you've got a health problem, I really do believe that he's got your best interest at heart. Um, 
it it might be a lot of people might think it's a little bit wacky because he gets his information from spirit and not from scientific sources but you know when when you've been suffering like i i've been suffering with chronic fatigue syndrome and these mystery health problems when you've been suffering and nobody can help you the doctors can't help you the naturopaths can't help you you've seem to have tried everything under the sun and nothing seems to be working and people think oh you're just faking it you just what's wrong with you you haven't been diagnosed with anything all the tests have come back fine why don't you just stop being lazy and you know all these things you you you, you will grasp at anything to get better you'll try anything and when somebody comes along and says, actually, science isn't there yet, we've not found the answer to these mystery illnesses, you think, actually, that sounds right to me, because if they had found the answer, I would have got well. You know, it's as simple as that. If, if science had found me the answer, it would have worked for me. So, um, and Anthony William, he, I believe he does have the answers. I followed his protocol, which I had, like I said, I'd previously done, which is a high... A high fruit diet, lots of fruit, vegetables, lots of raw fruit uh, and vegetables, nothing crazy. Um, natural supplements based on, usually based on food based products like spirulina and things like that. And I thought, well that, that all seems, it's not, it's not crazy, it might, you might think it's crazy where he gets his information, but the diet itself does not seem crazy at all. So two years ago, I followed his protocol to the letter for I think it was two months and I felt amazing. I felt so, so good. And then, uh, stupidly, you stop doing these things and um, you think, oh, I'm back to normal, I can just start living like everybody else and the, the, your health problems come back again. Anyway, I'm rambling on, I'm, I'm supposed to be talking about Candida. So anyway, I found um, Anthony William and he was talking about Candida. So everything that I'm sharing with you today is actually from Anthony William. This is not, um, this is not something I googled. It is not based on science, it is based on his opinion, who, who he says he gets the information from spirit, so just bear that in mind, because this is completely different to anything that anybody else has told you about Candida. And Anthony says that Candida is actually natural, which we know that everybody has Candida and should have Candida in their body, that's a fact. But what we don't know is that when we have too much Candida, that that is actually the body trying to protect itself is the overgrowth of candida. It's not actually the candida that's causing your symptoms. The candida is a warning sign to the body that something else is going on. So that's the difference. We're not trying to um, kill off the candida because the candida is the problem. We're trying to think, oh good, candida is sending us a warning sign that there's some other problem. And usually the, the problem is a virus, a bacteria, something like strep, that's overtaking the body that we need to detox and get out of the body. What is causing it? So it could be things like a pathogen or a virus. So what kills the pathogen or the virus that's ca actually causing the problem? And Anthony says that fruit and vegetables and leafy greens, they are the things that actually kill the virus, is a lot of fruit. Now, this is completely um, contradictory to any of the other information that you'll get about candida. Most of the time they tell you to cut out fruit because it's too high in sugar, but the fruit from, the sugar from fruit is completely different and the body does handle it in a completely different way to refined sugar. And Anthony says that the, the fruit actually, when it goes into your stomach, it leaves within three to six minutes and it doesn't actually go anywhere near the intestinal tract at all so it can't be causing the problem it actually helps the problem and he says what what makes the problem worse what makes the you know the virus proliferate in the body is things like animal products and high fat so that's exactly why most people don't recover when they're on an anti-candida diet so Anthony says what we have to do is we have to bring the body back into balance again and um, we have to increase the amount of good bacteria in your body. So these are some of the things that he says are really good for bringing the body back into balance so that we can get the candida down and we can kill off the problem, the, the virus that's actually causing the problem. So things like raspberries, grapefruit, cucumber, spinach, tomato, avocado, coconut, and uh, vitamins like 
like I've got my vitamins here, I've got my B12 and my barley grass powder which is great for, for detoxing the body and bringing it back into alignment again. And um, we're also to avoid, uh, we're, we're to avoid antibiotics and antifungal medications but because they, they actually make the problem worse but we can have some natural antifungals in our diet which will help to kill the pathogens and the viruses that are overtaking our body. So these are four things that I do. So this is um, something that you might hear on other anti-candida uh, protocols that actually do help and these are natural uh, antifungals, it's these from natural sources that actually help the body. So the first one is oregano. So I've got some oregano oil, some essential oil and this is completely pure. Um, I wouldn't do any, take anything that's got you know more than one ingredient in the ingredient list because that might be uh, adulterated with all kinds of nasty things you don't want in your body. So this is the sauce that I use and I'll leave a link to this in the blog post as well. And I would put um, four drops of it into a, a veggie capsule, an empty capsule like this and swallow that. So basically I'm making my own supplements. I would also do the same with the grapefruit seed extract because that doesn't taste nice. You can put that in water and dilute it, but it really doesn't taste nice, so I put that in a capsule as well. And another thing I use is this advanced cellular silver, and this is really good for killing off any viruses in the body. And I actually use this daily. What I do is I spray this six times into my mouth, swish it around my mouth and then swallow it. And the reason why I, I do that uh, as well is because of my tooth, because I've got an implant in my tooth and I've been told it's not put, uh, it hasn't been put in very well and there's a chance of infection, in the, a very high chance of infection in the future. I take this to um, keep my body um, you know, a, a kill off anything that might be causing me infections and um, well, so far it's worked. I've had about eight, eight, nine months of using this and the infection hasn't come back so I'll keep you posted on that. Um, that's supposedly good for so many things, you know, like if I have, if you have any kind of pain or any, um, any rash, you can spray that on the outside of your body and it takes it away. We've used it for everything. Basically it's my, if my kids fall over and get a cut, I put that on and then I put an ointment with some essential oils after it and I just um, that's what I use on everything now so that is amazing stuff and another thing the final thing I do is I use this um, this is actually herbal tea this is proper herbal tea if you watch my other video on the um, deadly ingredient lurking in your herbal tea go and watch that now because that um, this is why I buy, now buy teas like this <laughs> and I don't know whether you can see this but this is basically when my husband saw it he says what on earth is that it that looks like kind of tree bark or hay or you know straw or something like that and it is this is really good for the immune system and it's very good at killing off, naturally killing off any viruses in your body as well so this strengthens your body and it removes nasties from your body so it's really good for you so what i do is i take one of these little tea strainers which has got a lid that goes on top of it and what you do is you put the tea inside here, drop it into your um, cup of tea and this one is amazing because it has got a little string on it. You attach that to the the um, handle of your teacup and it just dangles in there and um, strains the tea and I just leave it in there as long as I can, maybe like 10-15 minutes and that is the best way to drink herbal tea is using one of these uh, tea strainers. Use uh, leaves rather than tea bags because in tea bags they tend to put all kinds of nasties in them that you might forget to check the ingredients. So what I do is they're my that's my natural antifungal set and I am cycling through them. I'm taking one every day for four days and then I'm moving on to the next one and that's the way I'm trying to get rid of any any viruses or bacteria. I don't actually know what. What it is, it's in my body. I've I stopped with the with the kind of going down the path of the naturopath and the testing. All the tests were so expensive, and I just thought, I just don't know if it's going to. And according to Anthony William, he said that most tests are not accurate anyway, so you could be just wasting your money. So I am just going to go down the path of healing from now on. I'm just going to focus on um, keeping my diet very very clean. Um, 
including lots of fruit, lots of leafy greens work which are amazing for healing, lots of vegetables, I'm back on a plant-based diet and I'm already feeling a lot better, a lot more like myself. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now so it's, um, yeah, I'm definitely on the right track for my own body and if you want to get um, a month's worth of free meal plans then you can go to greenthickies.com forward slash leaf system and you can get the exact diet that I'm following there. So if you like this information on Candida and you would like to share it, please share it, like it, comment on it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and go over and check out uh, medicalmedium.com and I'll link to that as well in the blog post that this video comes from and I really urge you to go over there and even if you're not suffering with a health problem and you just feel a bit lethargic and maybe a bit overweight still go over there and check it out because I really believe that he is the real deal like I've never never been so convinced that um, somebody really does care about health than him so that's it for today and take care and I will see you soon bye